Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do hope everybody's doing well. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest, as always. Let's see what's going on with my Leo babies. We have the Eight of Cups. Okay, somebody's Eight of Cups in here. Gotta find out what that's all about. Whoa, guess both of them wanted to come out. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Let's make sure our volume is up. No, it's not. It mm. is now. And the Ace of Wands. Are you walking away from a legacy? Because I do see the Ten of Pentacles here and a brand new beginning with that third eye, guys. And I feel like somebody's walking away from that. It could be the other person. I mean, I, the Ten of Pentacles is everything you can want. Like materially, family, um, legacy, building something from, you know... Building something up and creating it. Ooh. Okay. That explains a lot. Alright. So. I have the two of cups here. On the bottom. Two full cups coming together. So. This Ten of Pentacles and this Ace of Wands is a brand new beginning for you, Leo. And I'm, I'm feeling like don't look a gift horse in the mouth kind of energy. This person is offering you everything. And I feel like either it's you or them that's walking away. Somebody's offering somebody everything. I mean, everything. Eight of Swords in the past self imposed sorry self imposed prison feeling like your hands are tied and not being able to move forward um brand new beginning here you took a risk this risk was a good one because you got a wish granted something that you asked the universe for is here why are you walking away? It's going to help you drop these burdens as the factor affecting the situation. So you're going to be able to drop some things because of this new energy in your, in your uh, area. King of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody's looking awfully good. Somebody's looking real good here. That's either you or... The energy that you are with could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. However, I do have the Fool, which is Aries, and the Star, which is Aquarius. And now in your hopes and fears, everything you could ever want. Everything and then some. That is the Sun. That is you, Leo. You're either hoping or fearing it. And I feel like you're hoping... If this is that Ten of Pentacles that you're looking for. Ace of Pentacles is the final outcome and the Hierophant as Spirit's advice. This is Spirit tapping you on the shoulder, literally saying, Hey, you need to really look at this. You really need to look at this. It is directly attached to your crown chakra. Okay? I'm feeling like uh, this is more sacral, so it's orangey, pink, uh, and that goes from sacral to heart. You know, I mean, there's 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 definitely the yellow in between it, but that goes from the sexual chakra to the solar plexus up to the heart and the crown chakra which is purple so this is spirit like i said tapping you on the shoulder literally telling you 
that this is the way you should go. Let's see what this Ten of Pentacles and this Ace of Wands is about. What is this Ten of Pentacles and Ace of Wands about, Spirit? Ten of Pentacles on the Ten of Pentacles. My God. Somebody got ghosted here. All right? By a whole family, it feels like. I mean, could be uh, a family legacy. They got left out. Could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with. But it feels like you may have been left out in the cold in this situation and you weren't able to make it happen. Either you or the other person is broke. So I feel like that is a serious insecurity here in this relationship. A serious insecurity because you got the King of Wands here twice and the Ten of Pentacles here twice. Double confirmation. This is money. This is a new start. This is a new life for you. And maybe it's by your own hand because the King of Wands is Leo energy. It is the performer. It is the entrepreneur. It is the... I let nothing stand in my way energy. And I feel like that that wasn't balanced. And that's what needs to be balanced now. Because... If somebody's like, and I'm going to say this like it is, if somebody's like a narc or narcissist and they think that they're better than everybody else, they're not going to be able to see inside. All they can see is what's outside. And I feel some superficial bullshit going on here, guys. I really do. All there is is spirit and love. I mean, if it's money that you're after, then... You're earning it yourself. You're by being a showman or whatever it is that you do for a living. Uh, it, it's almost like I don't need your pinnacle. I got all the pinnacles I need. Energy, okay? <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but that's what I'm feeling. Um, look at these cards. But you're potentially walking away from your match. So be careful with that energy. You know what you know what you got to do here. And it's definitely to drop some burdens that you're carrying around with you. And I feel like since childhood, like I said, a lot of superficial bullshit going on here. Somebody who thinks the outside is more important than the inside. And that is where you have got to discern and get to the core of the issue. King of Pentacles. This was a wish that you had. To have this past come back and be fair to you for what they did to you. Ask and you shall receive. But... The only thing I'm missing here is the wheel. The karmic wheel. Because there's still three people here. Okay? Whether this person is in your life or not. <clears throat> or in their life or not. Whoever you're with. There is still a third energy lingering because of betrayal and that's in the immediate future you get what you want but something from the past is lingering here an option a choice fairness betrayal three people okay <coughs> immediate future for you king of pentacles 
Somebody who's stable, somebody who's well grounded. Uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. Four of Cups. I don't want to see that. Factors affecting the situation. That's what I think of the Four of Cups. I, you know, in most decks, it is depicted as having your arms crossed like this and concentrating on the three cups that are empty so you don't see what spirit is trying to hand you. I feel more like that is trying not to see what spirit is handing you because you're so focused on, on the empty cups. Okay? You're so focused on that self-imposed prison and hard times that you're not willing to let go enough Oh, wow. Stress the fuck out. Factors affecting the situation. There's definitely a money problem here. I feel like you, you're just not going to worry about it anymore. I with, with these cards here, you are super, super stressed out. Maybe even going a little borderline mental illness here, like depression or anxiety, serious anxiety. Four of Cups, Page of Swords, Nine of Swords, Queen of Swords, and Page of Wands. There may be a young person involved in this. Uh, factors affecting the situation a younger person it might even be a child that might be the third energy with the six of cups and the page of wands now it might even be a child as the third energy four of cups page of swords somebody's definitely stalking you like crazy could be this queen of swords somebody that cut you off or you cut them off but there is somebody who is definitely paying close attention to everything you do and I'm almost feeling like a hidden camera here I don't mean to make you paranoid I'm just saying be careful what you wish for Leo you just might get it and it may cost you Every wish costs something. It always does. There is no energy that doesn't have a co-energy that doesn't have another energy. You see what I mean? It's like it keeps going on and on and on. Energy never dies. So there is definitely a third energy here. Somebody that betrayed you. Somebody that hurt you. And they may, may still be doing it. But you think this person is all that in a bag of chips and that's what they make themselves out to be. So, you know, you go. Whatever it is that <laughs> is floating your boat there, Leo. Because um, I see a lot of pain involved in this Two of Cups. Outside influences being stuck. Juggling. Envy. Jealousy one-sided relationship lots of jealousy here with this eight of swords two of pentacles and five of wands wow okay like i said this is this is somebody who's obsessively jealous that you're dealing with i don't know who they are but it's somebody who is in love with you but i don't think you're in love with them i think their love confuses you Okay, I'm just saying, it is definitely a, it, you, I'm feeling like somebody's not telling you how they feel, because they're afraid of rejection, they're actually very, very jealous of you, very jealous and stuck energy that you're dealing with here, I, I have no idea who these people are, but there's two of them. Like I said, one could be a child. One, four, four on the clock. So, ding. Maybe I'm right. 
Confirmation. What is this Ace of Pentacles about as the final outcome, Spirit? Eight of Pentacles on the Ace of Pentacles, which is a brand new beginning. Could be a new job. But whoever you're in love with here, Leo, they got somebody else. You don't see it. Could be a Gemini or a Pisces. But yeah, somebody's definitely hiding something here. They're trying to get away with something. And I feel like lying, cheating type energy. Maybe not necessarily theft, but it could be with all these pinnacles. What is this Hierophant about? That's Taurus energy. What is that Hierophant about, Spirit? This chakra activation. Wow. Judgment. The Empress, Intuition, the High Priestess, the Emperor, the, the Ace of Pentacles again, and the Eight of Wands. If somebody has lost a job here, they're about to get a message from their boss to give them a brand new beginning in Pentacles Instability. If this is regarding love, this is union. And both of these parties embrace the boss energy. This is serious union. Possibly even marriage. But somebody's definitely stuck in a lack mentality. Could be the third person that you're dealing with. There's never enough. There's never enough is what I'm hearing. I don't ever have enough. While you're in ecstasy with your divine counterpart. So I feel like that might be an outside energy to both of you. But somebody is lying about a third person here. It's obvious. It's almost like, okay, I'm going to put it to you in terms like this, because of the King of Cups and all that confusion coming out. It's almost like somebody wants somebody else to be their divine counterpart, but they know the truth. They know who is through their own intuition. And they may get a message from this other person and try to get away with seeing them while they're with their divine counterpart take it out resonate guys because the ten of pentacles being what's crossing you is family mother father high priestess in the middle man you can't get no more spiritual than that the mother energy the father energy and the high priestess there is no you can't get no more spiritual than this all right brand new beginning in finances and a message that comes in very quickly so whatever it is you're getting the message leo you're getting the message that'll do donkey that'll do i don't know why i said that but it was remind reminding me of that from that part from shrek <laughs> It's like, I don't know why it came out, but it, I, I feel like somebody's definitely learning their lesson about a three-way situation here. And they're understanding that they only have one divine counterpart. Uh-oh. But that divine counterpart makes them feel like they're in jail. 
Uh, somebody feels like they're in jail here. They're being held hostage by a wealthy man or wealthy woman that they're with. They expect this to go well, but then there's this other lover. I'm sorry, that's the second time it's come out. Gemini lover's energy. So I do believe that the emperor or the empress already knows. They already know. So, you know, like I said, this could be a polygamy situation. I don't know. I don't judge. I just read the cards. But like I said, someone feels like they can't move due to the man. All right. They can't go ahead and do what was expected of them because they're either in a self-imposed prison or they may actually be in jail. Okay, they just can't, they, they don't feel like they can do what they're supposed to do. Maybe a lack of money, maybe a lack mentality, I don't know. That's where you come in. Alright, let's see what the love oracle's got to say for you. Oh, we have a runner, we have an axe, we have a coffin, oh my gosh. Um, taking a chance, risk being strategic options and not showing your hand, gambling. Divine couple, runner. Somebody running, but nobody chasing. Runner in a codependent relationship for fear of, int fear of intimacy and listening to the ego. You check out my difference between the ego and the higher self on my community page. Um, break up separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Somebody's got abandonment issues. And they, they keep looking, they keep looking at your pictures. There's an ending and a new beginning. Change, growth, liberation, and transition happening now. A proverbial death of the ego. But you keep, somebody keeps playing outdated thoughts over and over in their head. This is a dark night of the soul, people. Somebody's definitely going through it. Now, whether it be you or the person that you're dealing with or somebody outside of them, there is somebody here dealing with dark soul energy, that, that the dark night of the soul energy, where they're, they're having to reevaluate everything in their life to get to that divine masculine, divine energy, energy. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Whatever, I don't, I don't edit, so you get what, <laughs> if it comes out, it comes out. Um, so whoever feels like they're being held back right now is the one that needs to seek freedom through uh, a divine, intervention here because they're going through it they're going through the dark knight of soul ten of swords uh page of swords nine of swords queen of swords yeah they're seeing the truth seven of swords for exactly what it is and wh whoever this person that they're involved with is lying to them about a third party Okay, somebody may be hidden away here, tucked away for safekeeping, that's what I'm hearing. Alright, wow, some pretty intense messages, Leo. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time.